It'll be sore for maybe a day. Okay, that's fine. Just a day or so, and then that's it. Okay, and now when you've done this clean it, she has to take care of any cream? No, okay. should be all good. Okay, we'll save the appointment so we can take care of it. Of course, so like I said, the reason we're getting this corn is because the toe is so curled. So in a month or so, we'll do that small procedure to release the tendon to straighten the toe. That will make it feel much better. And then we should be coming in every couple months to see how well or how, how, how fast it comes back. So you take it nice and easy. I'm just going to remove as much of the dead skin here yeah. as possible. And at least she has a relief. Yeah, you're going to have relief for the next couple uh, weeks. Before you do it. Yes. But she is tough. This is a very big horn. Most people are crying and you, no problem. First I used to cut by myself only with this. Oh my gosh. But now I can't bend my leg after I did my operation. Oh. Knee operation. No more, huh? Hard to reach. Hard uh, to reach. So you've just been watching this thing get bigger and bigger. You can hear how hard it is, it's like a rock. So yes, doing this little small procedure in office just to cut the tendon straight in the toe a little bit more will make a big difference because now it'll be more like this on the bottom, not yeah. so much curled. We'll get all this bad stuff off. You okay here? Are you okay? They are much flatter. Let's scrape down some of the dead skin. But yeah, you have a, almost like a little blister that formed. Yes. A pocket from all the pressure. Yes. So clean it up really nice. At least now she can walk with no pain. Yes. So you can see there is a little hole and we do have a wound. Uh, you have a wound? Yes. Does she need any antibiotic? Yes. yes. I'm going to give her a prescription. Yeah, please give it. So here, take a look so you can see it. Yeah, I can see it. And so there was too much pressure on the tip of that toe. Yeah, yeah. we have to take care of it. So, most of the time, we end up doing that procedure mm -hmm. when we have the toe get a wound like this. Oh. It's a sign that we need to do something more aggressive. Yeah. So I know last time, the other foot specialist tried to give her a pad uh -huh. to hold the toe up. But it didn't work. It's like she was saying, it's slipping, it doesn't feel good in the, in the shoe. Yeah. The goal was to hold it up, but no, it was not enough. We need to physically change the toe and try to get it to straighten more. Well, the good thing, I don't think it's infected, it's just open, okay. but it's no good, right? We don't want to have an open wound on the no, body. No, 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 not at all. No. Are you okay? Huh? I'm okay. Like she said, the moment she sat in the chair, she's like, I'm tough. I'm tough. Do it. Yeah, so it's nice and open, which is unfortunately no good, right? No. So getting all this dead skin. Look at that. Yeah. Very, very open. What to do with dead skin? I also get so much dead skin. Well, you only get dead skin if there's too much pressure. So where are you getting the dead skin? The side of the foot, so shoes could be too narrow. That's one. And you do have a wide foot. Yes. Women's shoes are very narrow. So that's one problem, it squishes here. Yeah. Two, the foot could be rolling in the way you're walking or standing. So sometimes we need more support 
to stop the foot from falling in. I will also take an appointment with, with you. No problem. We can talk about that when you yeah, come in. I, I can't. I have uh, heels first, so I can't wear any shoe except I wear the fit flop company. Gotcha. So I'm going to lightly bust down some of that last bit of dead skin. Yeah. We're going to use an antibiotic cream. Okay. Okay, for the next, I'd say, two, two, three weeks. Okay. Okay. This is the same cream we'll be using after the small procedure, so at least if you get it now, you don't have to get it later. Just a little bit of cold water. Are you okay? Clean up that damaged nail as well. So if, what we can try to do is maybe fit an appointment for both of you next time. Cream is better, it has to be thicker. Yes. So this is the antibiotic cream. Okay. And we'll put a little band-aid on there. And afterwards, what she has to do every day. Every day. So you have to put a bandage? Yes. So the cream stays on top of the area and nothing gets in. Now if you want to get shower or bath, she can do that, no problem. Just keep it covered, mm -hmm. okay? Ma, keep it covered and after the shower change it, okay? Exactly. We have to buy these ones, the two. These ones are good, huh? Yeah, I will buy this for you. 